Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to size and prime panels for oil painting. And I'm gonna discuss a process that not a lot of people talk about. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey everybody, I'm Brian McCormick and this is Gallery Bry. And if you're new here on this channel, I talk about oil painting, gouache painting, and I talk about the process and materials that you use for each of those. So if that's your thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss the videos that come out every week. So in this video, I'm mainly going to be showing you about priming wood panels, but this process can really apply to just about any surface, canvas, aluminum, anything you really want to paint on. It's all about protecting the surface and protecting your painting. So let's go ahead and talk about the wood panels. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you sand the panel down. You want to make sure you sand the edges, get any rough spots off of there, and even sand the, the flat part, just to give it a little bit more tooth. And then from there, you'll be ready to start priming. So the first step of this process is sizing your wood panel. So what is sizing? Sizing is basically just sealing the panel so that it protects the wood from the paint and it protects the painting from the wood because you don't want the oil to seep into the wood panel because it'll rot it over time and you don't want any chemicals or materials from the wood getting into your painting and altering the color of your painting over time. So that's why it's important. And what you will be using is either GAC 100 from Golden or PVA size from Gamblin. Those are the two that I'm most familiar with. I personally use Golden's version. I use the GAC 100 and it works very well. So typically what I'll do is I'll take a small amount and I'll apply it with a brush and I usually go in circular motions. I, I don't paint it back and forth. You can do that. Some people will go vertical brush strokes and then they'll do horizontal brush strokes. I like to go in a circular motion because it really works it down into the panel and it creates a very even surface for me to work on. Now if you want to you can sand in between coats but I typically will just do it very thinly and then from there I can apply a second coat. So I typically do one to two coats and you want to make sure that it is touch dry in between applications. It can be anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour depending on how thickly you put it on there. Once you have your panel sealed in size, you can then start applying your primer or gesso. So depending on what you like, traditionally gesso is a very absorbent surface and it's used a lot with acrylic painting. However, some people like to prime their wood panels for oil painting with either an oil primer, which is oil-based, and it's a little bit more slick on the surface and it's less absorbent, which means that you can play with the paint a little bit more on the surface and you're not gonna have to worry about it absorbing and sinking in and it's just a little bit easier to manipulate. I like to use Michael Harding's non-absorbent acrylic primer. So it does basically the same thing. It lets the paint sit on the surface and you can manipulate it a little bit more, but it dries very quickly. So I tend to use this more often. You can use anything that you want. Like I said, you can use gesso, you can use oil-based primer, but I like Michael Harding's non-absorbent acrylic primer just because it dries quickly and I can still get the same effect that I like. Now, typically what I do is I'll apply a couple applications very thinly and again just like when I'm applying the sizing I go in circular motions and I do very very thin layers that way it dries quickly and since it's highly pigmented you really don't need that much of it so I'll apply it let it dry to the touch again it can be anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour just depending on how much you apply and then I'll apply another layer some people like to sand in between layers I typically apply it thin enough that it doesn't really need to be sanded and I actually like the texture so it's really just a preference of whether you like to sand it in between applications or if you don't but typically I'll do two to three applications and once I'm done it is a really nice surface to paint on it's fairly smooth it's pretty uniform since I paint it in circles and you're ready to go so what do you guys think? Is it worth it to go the extra step and size your panels before applying gesso or primer? Let me know down in the comments and let me know what you use. Do you use GAC 100 from Golden? Do you use PVA size from Gamblin? Or do you use something else? I'd like to know and I'd like to hear from you.
So if you found this tip helpful and you want to see more each week, you can click this round subscribe icon right here to subscribe to the channel and then you can hit the notification bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out. And if you want to see more videos, you can click over here. So I hope you guys are doing well and we'll talk to you soon.